All right, we're here at Los Buzos, Panama, and I want to show you guys how we set up our kayaks to catch giant fish. Um, this is the Hobie Outback. It's a pedal drive kayak, so you get to fish totally hands-free. Um, this thing is called the Mirage Drive. It has fins on the bottom, so when, you're, when you want to move, you just pedal back and forth just like this. It fits right in this hole, just like that. This version only has forward, but uh, if you need to go reverse, you can break out the paddle. Stowed right there, go reverse if you need to. Um, you steer with your left hand here, this is your rudder control. To get your rudder to go down, you just pull this string, rudder flips down with your left hand, left goes left, right goes right. So you have total control of your boat. Um, you have a pretty comfortable seat here. Um, stay pretty dry in this thing. And um, I like to keep a crate back here with rod holders so I don't have to keep any of my rods in these side rod holders, which can kind of get in your way. So I like to stow as much stuff in the back of the kayak as possible. That way I have total, total free reign of the front of the kayak. And these are my three setups that I like to have, starting with the smallest. This is a Daiwa BG MQ6000. Um, it has 15 to 20 pound braid on it. Uh, it's perfect for casting at like busting tunas, uh, we, we use it to catch a lot of bait. Uh, we use these little jigs, we call XPS jigs. They're like uh, 23 gram, just knife jigs. And you can drop them to the bottom, jig, jig the bottom for small snappers, or you can sight fish tunas, small roosters. Uh, a lot of times we get some schooling roosters that, that get back here. There'll be schools of like 20 to 50 of them sometimes running the beach. And uh, you can just, you can cast these things a mile. So you can get it right in them, skip it on the surface like a ballyhoo and they smash them. Um, and the, the little roosters are super fun. They'll jump, kind of jump around like mahi. And uh, this is our second setup. This is like a step up. Um, on these spinners, we have about 60 pound braid, totally, totally filled. And this is what we use for jigging, popping, trolling, stuff like that. Out, we were out today uh, dropping the jigs and uh, Lance hooked a, hooked a monster. As you can see, it bent the hook out and it bent the jig in half. <laughs> There's some big fish out there. Um, and this is our bigger setup. This is what we use for fishing live bait. Um, this is an accurate Fury 600. Uh, this has about 300 yards of 60, po 60 pound braid backing and 80 pound mono top shot. So you have a ton of line. Um, we use it to catch every, everything, all of our bigger species, um, mostly Kubera snappers, uh, giant rooster fish, blue marlin. We actually have the world record rooster fish at the lodge and we have a uh, like a top 10 list at the lodge and they're all actually bigger than a world record. They just weren't able to be uh, certified because it's hard to get a, a completely flat surface on the kayak to, uh, to measure for, for IGFA standards, even though we, we did a pretty good job, but they just they wouldn't uh, <laughs> certify it. I like to have a fish finder on each kayak. Um, here I have it in simulator mode, so you can see uh, kind of what what you what you're really looking for. If you see something like this, like like uh, red stacked up off the bottom, this this looks like probably a rock with fish on each each side. Fish look like a like a banana shape, and if it's if it's like dark red shape, uh, it's a pretty big fish, or you're getting a really good signal because it's right under your kayak uh, or right under whatever boat you're in. And if if you're marking something that's like uh, lighter orange or like a yellow color it could mean he's a smaller fish or he's like out to the side because this transducer shoots like a cone um, and you're not going to get as good of a signal if it's if, say the fish is like over here and you're in 20 feet it'll come up as like a yellow fish but still big um, that means he's just he's close but he's just not right under you and uh, it'll show you your depth and water temperature which are all super important things and here we have a bunch of of waypoints saved. Um, we have a, probably 50 to 100 of our, of our favorite spots saved in this, in this uh, GPS so you can just navigate yourself to them and make sure you're on a, on a good hot spot and uh, it's, it really saves you some time staying on some good spots so uh, that's super helpful and we power with these uh, Dakota lithium, lithium batteries and uh, these things are cool because you got USB ports so you can charge your phone and, and you got a flashlight on it too so if you if you get out of the kayak and you're walking around in the 
in the jungle or something, you got a flashlight if you need it. And they're super light, so you don't you're not carrying all kinds of all kinds of extra weight. You wanna you wanna stay as light as possible when you're in the kayak because that's that's part of the game. You wanna be as simple as possible. If you want to film yourself, this is this is my go-to thing. This is this is the Railblazer camera boom. Um, it's perfect because I, I can press record and I can swing it out uh, whichever way I want. We have a lot of species here that we like to eat. So on each kayak, we keep a, a spear gaff. It's just threaded rod with a with a not super sharp point, so you don't um, poke holes where you don't want to poke holes. Um, but we catch a lot of tunas. We catch a lot of grouper. Uh, Corvina, Wahoo, uh, Sierra mackerel, all kinds of really good eating fish. And uh, so we keep this on board in case you get one up close. And uh, we like to stick it right behind the gill plate near the head, try to get, the, get it near the spine. And uh, that way you can safely get it into the boat. Really helpful when you get one of those toothy fish, like a, like a Wahoo or a mackerel, you can stick it and you, you're able to kind of maneuver its head away from your feet. You can pull your feet back and just put its head up, up here. And that way you don't get sliced by the by the super sharp teeth or anything like that and some of us will carry a cooler bag on the on the bow of the kayak and that way you can stick any any type of fish that you catch during the day on the on the kayak it's specifically designed to rest right here and you can you can put all kinds of fish in it i've put 100 pounds of fish in it before um, and paddle back to shore so we make sure all the important stuff is is leashed like the mirage drive is leashed and your rods are leashed these these are my favorite because they have this uh, this little clip here. You can put your rods in and out of the in and out of the boat, and just quick snap right there, and uh, and you're good to go. Hammer some big fish. 10-4, 10-4. Uh, I would ask him. Hand stand by. I got a big fish on. Woo! Something good. <laughs> 